Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about XPath locators in Playwright Python. Okay. What is XPath? Why XPath is required means we can able to say any web application by default de developing by the locators that is called ID, name, class and uh, CSS selector and basically these are two only and we can able to use for tag name and link text and partial link text okay and remaining things like if they we don't have for id name class name okay these are the two attributes are not presented then we can able to say other attributes any other attributes are presented by using that attributes we can able to use it and select by using a tag name or link text or something link is nothing but we have hyperlink hyperlink having some context by using the context we can able to take partial link text also presented by using css selector and by using xpath these are the things we can able to take it and we can able to identify in case if there is no uh, id name class name okay and here how we can able to identify by that x path by using that x path how we can able to identify if i take the example of this particular uh, netflix okay in the console location if you can able to come to the element locator you can able to see the name is attribute is presented but other than that we have for another one that is data iphone uvi field email okay i'm going to copying this particular field copying here and i'm going to do for control f okay if i paste it here directly it is not able to find it okay now again i'm going to do it for here double forward slash the tag is what the tag is presented input input tag and tag name i mentioned for input and i can able to use for two curly braces and i can able to use for at the rate symbol and tag name now you can able to see it is able to find for one of two there are two things are presented so it is presented two places and another place also same same thing is present but here inside the uh, text file another text file is presented that's why it is showing for two is present okay for this we can able to do it for square braces and here we can able to specify like this and we can and the last we can able to specify for one value one out of one value is presented like this we can able to specify uh, whether we can able to hit this particular one whether in here or not you can able to get it right for this, I'm going to use for my previous code, which is React application testing time, which I am user, right? The same code, I'm going to use it for XPath place also. Everything is same, just I'm going to change it here. Page dot locator. Now locator, I'm going to mention like this. And here we need to specify single quotation. Okay, and we can able to use to fill the value, which is location okay then again i'm going to use it here see still now it is able to provide the value to the text box this is a one format we can able to any other attribute other than that anything is presented that we can able to use it and we can able to use for preceding sibling and following sibling by using that also we can able to do it okay which is a following sibling which is the presented okay you can provide the following sibling you can able to find the element and we can able to use it that is a one format okay for this i can able to show you another example small example Okay, here you can able to see 
here this is the table is present in the tables if you want to select any one of the text box you can able to use it by using preceding sibling and following sibling. if you use the following sibling means it will go for like this preceding sibling means it will go for back side okay how we can able to identify if i am going to joe root or j smith or j morgan any one of them if i am going to use it okay if i inspect here okay and control f and here is the anchor tag that is a js moth is presented for him purpose i am going to use it here to forward slash a and square braces contains contains and again braces and here i am going to use for text and here in a single quotation i can specify my name you can able to see one out of one it is presented then here what i can able to do is single forward slash i can able to mention who parent parent for what you can see now here if you inspect this particular one what will happen this is a table format you can able to see it is a td what td it is parent we need to check it two colons and td if you mention the td is highlighted here okay then after highlighting what you have to do okay now you want to identify this particular one preceding format of sibling okay just one forward slash and you can able to use for preceding preceding sibling after preceding sibling what you want to use uh, td you can able to see one td is highlighted okay one td is highlighted if i expand here the td is having inside that but we are not identify for td but we identify for t sorry we are not identify for the input tag but we identify the tag of table td now you want to identify that particular element means forward slash input see you can able to identify that particular element by using this also you can able to check that checkbox by using this following sibling also following and preceding siblings any one sibling you can able to use a parent a child and self we have and contains and text there are some set of things are presented you can able to use for expert contains concept and text concept or you can able to use for parent child and self and you can able to use for following and following sibling preceding and preceding sibling okay this many concept you can able to use you can able to identify your xpath element this all the things i explained in how to create this all the things by using this i explained into my python like selenium with the java place all the all the information is presented go to that and see that how you can able to create a different different xpath and you can able to reuse it just create and select based upon that okay this is all about for expert related things by using playwright i hope you understand this one please like me do please subscribe me to channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you